Hello world, welcome back to Cybercrete. Today in this video, we are going to be discussing and looking ahead at one of the most fastest AI LLM model out there that is Grok. And this model, the inference speed of this model is particularly very fast as compared to any of its competitor even like GPT 3.5 Turbo that is state of the art made with OpenAI funding with Microsoft. But this Grok AI have managed to develop its own hardware uh, which is basically called this LPU which is which basically stands for language processing unit so they designed a chip that is specific for generation of the text output from the LLMs so it is not a good model if you just need to train your uh, LLM models but it is the good model if you have the trained model and then you want to run it so the speed that it is going to generate output it's super duper fast so today in this video we are be going to be seeing how we can basically be using this grok in our python code as well as how we can basically use it with langchain and currently it also have provided the support for using it with our custom tools so we can uh, just uh, write some api calls and then this model can uh, even do that which was just available for open ai some month before so function calling is now also available in grok so we will be going to be seeing that so if you are interested in this video please make sure to hit that bell icon and please subscribe to our channel and like this video so with that said let's get this video started so here if you just google grok you will be landed up to this website and you can simply click here and here uh, you can just enter some prompt so let's first test it out how fast it is so you can say write the python code for linked list so here you are going to see how fast the output was so it quickly generated this entire output and if we are going to compare it with any other models it is going to be pretty fast and here you have the option available uh, to use two models so here the models are basically mistral 8b llamas 2 and gamma which is basically of google so these are models are also available when we are going to be creating our own code so uh, it will be available and yes first let me clear one doubt uh, grok is not an ai model like open ai we say open ai it is going to be using uh, the gpt model but grok is just a platform that provides uh, you to host your model so here uh, we have hosted the mixtral 8b and then this grok is using its own architecture that is super fast at generating the text output so model is the same we have to just put it on the grok and the inference speed is going to be lot lot faster so you can see the huge case of this grok ai so it is not like any other ai but it's a hardware specific requirement that can speed up the thing uh, so with that said, uh, let's uh, get into the Python code and see how we can do it. So before uh, jumping ahead, uh, we need to basically get the API key in order to use it. So you can click on the setting, I guess. Okay. So it's for the uh, setting. So here you see uh, this API access. So you can click on the API access and here uh, you can click on the uh, playground and here you are going to be seeing this API key. So these are the steps you click on this api key then then simply click on create api key and it is going to be asking you the name whatever name you want to give you can give it so i have given it a youtube test and then this is a secret key so once you have created the secret key it is not going to be revealed sooner or later it is going to be fixed so you can't view it so make sure you copy it and paste it in secure location so with that said uh, let's get into the code and try to see how things are going to work so the very first requirement is you go to your environment variable and here you are basically going to write grok api key and write this api key let me just zoom it a bit so here you declare grok api key and then paste the api key so i am showing you this but i will be revoking this access and i will be deleting this api key so with that said let's jump into the code and write to see how we are going to implement it so uh, you can implement it in many ways. The first one you can simply use the lang chain. So you can write lang chain G R O Q and it is going to provide you with the starting code. <coughs> so the first thing uh, you have created the environment variable and then you have to basically install this lang chain grok in order to uh, be. So in order to basically use it inside our lang chain code. So you can just simply copy it and uh, let's open up the terminal in the VS code. 
so here i have already created this environment variable so you can simply write python dash m v e n b and e n v so uh, this is basically going to be creating a virtual environment for us and once the virtual environment is created you can just activate it using source v e n b activate and uh, once it's activated uh, you will be able to be using that so uh, once it's done you just do pip install a langchain grok so just copy it paste it here and it is going to be done so once it's installed uh, and the environment variable is set you can now start importing the things so here the first thing that i have imported is just from the documentation so langchain uh, so chat prompt template so chat prompt template is basically being uh, going to be taking care of whatever the prompt style you are going to be inputting it and then there is this chat grok so like uh, chat open ai is the model for open ai so chat grok is for the chat grok and here the dot env load the environment variables that we have set in our dot env file so let's just uh, simply use import os so os is basically going to be Uh, responsible for loading our environment variable let me just get rid of this and this load dot env is going to load the environment variables from this dot env file and once that is done we can simply move ahead and save our grok ai api key in this particular variable grok api key and then we are simply reading the environment variable from this dot env file and then here is chat we are creating like uh, we used to create for the model so here we are creating that particular ai model so chat grok we are setting the temperature to zero which means i don't want randomness here we are passing the grok api key is equal to grok api key and then here we are passing the model name so here as i have suggested that there are multiple models not multiple but there are three but we are going to be using the mixtral which is one of the best among all of these so we will be using this uh, mixtral and i think uh, <coughs> if you can simply Uh, go to the website you will be able to see the documentation and all the models that are basically available there so here is the basic example of uh, mistral how we are basically be going to be using mistral here is of the llama and things like that so this uh, new model uh, that is uh, our uh, gamma have recently launched so i think the langchain have not updated the documentation but uh, it should work so once that is done now let's uh, okay now Now let's uh, move ahead and uh, okay no not second time but okay now let's uh, define our system so here uh, we have told system you are an helpful assistant and then uh, human is basically being going to be inserting the text inside it and then this prompt template is going to be fulfilling it so here we are basically chaining them so here uh, we set chain first whatever the prompt uh, the user is going to provide us so it is going to be inside our chat prompt template so whatever message that you are going to pass it is going to be the system system will take this message you are an helpful assistant and then the human is going to be this human which is uh, basically the text that we will be providing as an input so here when we are saying chain dot invoke text so uh, here is also text and here the name is also text so this should be same So here we are saying explain the importance of low latency LLMs. So this message will be passed to this chain, and chain will first call the prompt. So it will uh, do the proper prompt formatting. So it will be you are an helpful assistant, and then uh, uh, the human is asking explain the importance of low latency LLMs. And then the output of this prompt, which is the nicely formatted strings out there, and it will be passed to this chat. So once this chat is passed, so chat is nothing but this chat grok. So this information will be sent to the chat grok server. It will generate the output and then print the message. So let's try. Uh, first, let's activate our environment and write Python main dot py. So here, uh, you have seen the output is pretty fast. Uh, it uh, just took. Okay, let's time it out. So we can say time Python main dot py. and this is going to declare the time that it took so python main.py took 0.45 milliseconds to just return this output so this is the speed of the chat grok and this is how you can basically use it now if you want to change it customize it according to your need you want to uh, make it an uh, let's suppose json generator new generator whatever joke generator you can simply tell the model that you are a joke generator or whatever things like that and then you can pass a human uh tell me a joke uh, about ai or tell me a joke about uh, war or things like that you can go on and do that so this was just a basic introduction of how you can simply use the 
Grok AI using Langchain. And now let's try to see how we can basically use the tools inside Grok. So this is one of the most interesting part of the Grok. So here, uh, even uh, in the API documentation, uh, API access, so our API documentation, uh, you are being going to be seeing this feature. So here, <coughs> so first let's see. Uh, so if you want any reference, and here uh, on the Grok, it, it have officially created its own model, which is Grok. So you need to ins pip install Grok in your virtual environment out there. So you can simply say, not here, not here too. So pip install Grok, and it is going to install it. So uh, once it's installed here, you can simply use it in this particular fashion if you don't want to use it with the Langchain. But most of the applications that we are building nowadays are based on the Langchain. So it is advisable to use Langchain because it have also the logging feature which you can use with Langsmith. So there are multiple of these. So you can uh, come here, you can see the model ID, uh, the model ID and the model ID for all the models that are currently available. So it will the list will keep on increasing. So here are the some examples, uh, some of the uh, showcases. But the things that we are basically interested in is basically of creating our own tools. So let's see how we can do that. Okay, so here in the code, we have imported some of the important libraries that are required. So Grok is basically uh, required for using our Grok AI model. OS is for loading uh, our environment variable so it is basically meant to use our environment variable and then there is this json so we are basically be going to be creating tools which is going to pass the output to any other third party api calls that is going to call the api and you basically know the method of api calling is basically in the form of json so there we are going to send the json out and then we are going to be receiving the json in so here the dot emb to load the dot environment file and <coughs> we have set the client and the grok with this api key and the model is uh, Mixtral 8B, which we are be going to be using, which is one of the best. So in function calling also, it is going to help us. So uh, with that said, let's create. Uh, so here we are not be going to be calling an actual uh, API call, but we will be mimicking that, which you can uh, basically use inside your model. So uh, here we are going to be using a uh, weather getting information. So uh, let me just write this dummy function. So here we see uh, get weather function. So uh, what this function is going to do, it is going to take the name of the city and then return uh, its temperature and its condition. So you can see that uh, API. So let's suppose there was an API call, which was basically. So here inside this function, you can make the API call by taking the city name and then call that API with that particular city name and then return the result. So we are mocking that. Uh, and if you have any third party API, you can uh, basically write the function and this is going to work perfectly fine. So now let's try to uh, write our main function that is going to use this tool. So uh, let's define our run conversation function. And then here, the first thing that we have to define is the model. So here, uh, let me just zoom it a bit. So here, the role of the system and then here is the content. So here you are a function uh, calling weather information model that is used to extract data to uh, from the get weather function. So here we have to indicate which function, uh, what is the name of the function that we have defined. So that's very important. Function to answer the question around the city weather include city name in your response. So while returning the response, make sure that you are going to return that. And then here the role of the user. So user is be going to ask any questions. So here it is just a message and now we have to uh, define the tool so that it basically knows uh, this is the tool and why we need to call that particular tool. So it is not going to call these tools even if we don't need it. So we have to give a proper information. This is the function name. Uh, this is the function description. Uh, call it when this is required. So let's do that. So here uh, he, we have to basically uh, call our variable. You can declare it as anything, but it should be a list because we can declare multiple tools. Yes, we can use multiple tools and it will choose based on the description. So here uh, type will be the function and here inside the function, we are defining what type of function is this. So name of the function is get weather. So here you see, uh, this is the name of our function get weather. And then uh, we have to give the description, get the weather of the given city. And then we have to also declare its parameter. 
so parameter uh, type object which means uh, dictionary uh, because object is basically declared in javascript so what are the properties city name and type and string so why we need to give this type of information because this is how the model is basically going to know like from this text i need to generate in this particular format so i need to send city name and then the name of the city as an input to this particular function and then we are going to be uh, re getting the required result so here uh, it is a short description it is trying to say description the name of the city example uh, blah 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 so this is how you can define your tools so if your tool is uh, to get the data of let's suppose any uh, crypto prices data so you can say get crypto price and you can give the description it is used to get the crypto prices based on its uh, name or things like that and you can basically customize it so uh, i think you get the point now let's move ahead and check the response so here uh, we have to uh, create this model client.chatcompletion.create uh, as so this all things are basically in their documentation so here we are saying the model so model is nothing but this uh, mixtral 8b that we have declared and then uh, here we are providing the message uh, so message is nothing but our human message uh, that we have declared here what's the role what the user is basically being going to asking that but the interesting thing just here is that tools and tool choice is equal to tool so here we have basically declared it this is the tool you can use it and then there is this uh, tools choice is equal to auto so it can automatically choose whatever it sees fit based on the description and based on the task that it have and here we have set the max token if you want you can keep it if you don't you can simply remove it and it is going to be taking the max token so once that is done uh, we have to basically write a simple response dot choices to get the first message out of it and then here we are saying uh, to get the response from the tools calls because uh, it will be sending the response in the tools call section so we have to basically get that so uh, then again uh, we are basically calling the function and then we are appending the results So here uh, we are just uh, function calling it with the available tool we are loading the output in the form of uh, the json uh, once the model is called and with this all the information which are uh, basically present we are uh, basically parsing the response and returning just the content out of it just the required content that is required for our model so with uh, this all set up uh, we can simply uh, run the model how is the weather in the new york and if we try to run the code uh, let me just activate the environment uh, python uh, grok-tools.py if I run this so here you see based on the data provided in the get weather function the current uh, uh, weather of the New York is 15 degrees Celsius and sunny so it returned in the proper text formatted output so if we go to our get weather section uh, here we are going to see the New York with the condition as sunny so this is what uh, it can do so uh, this was a brief introduction if you have any doubt you can just comment down below and please make sure to like this video subscribe to this channel and do all of these things that are required so with that said uh, I will meet you in the next video and if you have any topic in mind you can just comment down in the comment section below so till then bye bye